Hi okay. guys, this is FK, and um, this is one of my Think Pieces video. I did one uh, last week where I talked about why I think AI is not going to replace developers. So um, I'm doing another one where I just uh, you know just say my mind unfiltered. Like, and this today I'm going to be talking about why I think Elon Musk is winning Twitter. Yeah, why I think Elon Musk is winning Twitter because um, I, I love Twitter. I've been using Twitter for over a decade, and Twitter has always been a place of you know intellectual conversations, information sharing, uh, a couple of exciting sports bands here and there, political debates, and a place for you know testing out public opinions on some optics. I know. It's a very intellectual ground and uh, a very informative place for you to, you know, feel the vibe of social media and also, you know, get educated and get enlightened. But I think Elon Musk might have just ruined that. And I know many people might be thinking, oh yeah, oh, is it because he fired, you know, like 70% of the staff? Or is it the crazy rate limiting stuff on tweets that we're never hearing about again, thank God? Or making people pay for Twitter? Or, or, or just being openly nasty on the platform because Elon Musk can be very, very edgy uh, and especially openly on the platform. But that's not why I think he has won Twitter. Uh, while all that might, you know, be very, very uh, negative to the platform in some sort of way. But that, that's not uh, why I think he has won Twitter. I think he has won Twitter because he started paying people for engagement. Yeah, because he started paying users for engagement. And this was something that we once celebrated, I think in one of the news pieces uh, on this channel, once celebrated that, yeah, Elon Musk is going to be paying people for using the platform. But I think that might have been a uh, cost. <laughs> yeah, that might have been a cost because now Twitter has turned to an engagement farm. Twitter has turned to an engagement. Yeah, and I'm still calling it Twitter because it is the mama, the mother of the app called it Twitter. <laughs> you can feel it for you can call it X, whatever you want to call it, but I don't know. I'm still going to be calling it Twitter. And because I'm also referring to the, the past state of, of, of the app, it has now turned to an engagement farm. Or let me say X has turned to an engagement farm. Twitter wasn't. X is now an engagement farm. Because everybody's just posting what is going to get them engagement. That's what I just see people doing this day. Everybody just posting what's going to get them engagement. People are outrightly lying and posting false information just because it's going to get them engagement. They don't care. They just spread false information. They know that people are going to check it out. They know that people are going to comment because people are going to, when people see that something is false, they are most likely going to comment. And commenting is one of the most powerful engagements that you can have on Twitter. So people are outrightly lying and um, yeah, you might say they are community notes, but how many what how many people eventually see community notes and community notes community notes are really trying there are some tweets that i even maybe i tweeted and if it later add community notes they're going to send me a notification to go and recheck that tweet that i retweeted well retweeted whether i want to you know change my mind uh based on new information that has been found concerning the tweet so yeah community notes are trying their best but what, what are you going to do with a tweet that already has tens of thousands of engagement it already has tens thousands of uh, comments thousands of likes some people have already gone with that information and they have or they're already running with it nobody has time to come back and be verifying stuff and all that so uh people are just posting anything anything this used to be a place where you get solid information i've gotten gigs i've gotten jobs through twitter and now people are just posting outright jargons also the comment section oh my god the comment section these days i go to the comment section and it's just a Oh mess. Nothing about the tweet that has been posted. Nothing about what was posted. People are just posting different videos, posting different pictures or stuff, posting memes to get themselves engagement. There used to be a place whereby when someone posts something, other people will go into the comment section to, you know, share their own opinion, to weigh in on what the person posted. But people are just posting sort of jargons. I think the worst is uh, Nigerian Twitter, Nigerian Twitter, which I mostly am, is still a bit sane. People are still uh, commenting about what really was what was really posted. I think Africa at large too. But you see, I've got Twitter. Oh my God! You know the USA. The, uh, not it's just memes. People posting different videos just to farm engagement for themselves. You see a post and you want to go into the comment section to hear other people's opinions, and all you're saying is so many different things that have nothing to do with the actual tweet. Then there is the pawn issue. Oh my God! There is the pawn issue. You see, pawn used to have a section on Twitter. And if you wanted it, you go there. If you are not interested, you leave it out. But now, because of, for engagement's sake, users have made it the business of everybody. Yeah, they have made it the business of everybody. They post these raunchy snippets on, uh, 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 as a tweet, and they tell you to go into the comment section to go and look for the full video. 
and you know you can always bet on how honey people are they are going to definitely drink down to the comment section so but a lot of times this, this is already this is now like everywhere on twitter like i said Pong used to have his own section if you had any business with it you go there if you don't have any business with it you shun it so but now it's everywhere because they know that you will go to the comment section and you don't know when you go to the comment section now there are ads in the comment section we don't we don't used to have ads in the comment section before but now there are ads in the comment section and when you see these ads when you uh, see these ads they are going to be paid for it the person that posted the tweet is going to be paid for the impression so People are just doing everything to bait you to go. Sometimes it's not even porn. People will just say things out of context just so that you can drill into the comment section to go and look for what is really going on. And this, for me, is making my once beloved Twitter, which is now X, making it uh, so, so messed up, honestly. And let's not even talk about the OnlyFans models. Let's, let's, that one is another talk for, for anybody that cares. <laughs> now, Elon, please do something. I don't know what it's going to be, but what you claim you dislike about Twitter is now what is what X is becoming a worse version of. And the bots are still there. Yeah, Musk came in making bold claims about dealing with bots. Bots are still heavily there. I still get tagged in a lot of silly crypto posts. And I have to always block people every day. So please make Twitter or X, whatever you call it, make it great again. That's what you said you want to, wanted to come and do. Please. Do something about it definitely it's not going to see this video but anyone seeing this video knows that that place it's not like before so that's all i have to say on this uh probably next week i'll have another stuff i want to talk around about uh, i remember your brain tech 